first memory. I guess the first one was the most traumatic one when I cracked my head. No, yeah. I didn't crack my head. I cracked my nose. Mm. I fell. Uh, we used to live like in these like old like Eastern European like apartment blocks. Mm -hmm. Everyone had like their own apartment stuff like that. And like it was just made out of concrete. The entire thing was just concrete. And I remember running up the stairs with a friend of mine, and I tripped, and I hit my nose like right on the stairs, like on the edge, like uh. that, and. Just blood started coming everywhere. <laughs> oh, no. So I remember that, but I think that might be my earliest. I remember also they had this like day, like a certain day of the year, where they would like, like everybody in the block would like bite pigs for some reason and kill the pigs. Like they'd slaughter the pigs, like in the road, like kind of like in the road. Too. Like around the, the area to eat them, obviously, oh. like a feast or something like that. But I don't know why. And I always remember that day because I, I was never allowed to go out and play there that day. And all you hear is like, wah, wah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and like, there was like a whole bunch of them because I, I don't know what. It's pig apocalypse. It was a pig apocalypse. <laughs> I gotta ask my mom, like, what was that day? What was. I don't even know what that was for. She took this job, so besides like farming and stuff like that, like helping with the animals and everything like that in Romania. She did this job at like the slaughter mill, is that what they're called? I don't even know what they're called anymore, where you just breed bunnies or chickens and you kill them and then you know, do this stuff. She told me that, <laughs> she told me that she would like judo chop them, like the bunnies, to paralyze them. She'd cut their throats and then she'd skin them. And she said, I, I make fun of her because I call her Maria the Ripper sometimes. <laughs> she hates that. And she said she got really good at it, she could do like a bunny in like a minute. A minute and like 50 seconds or something like that. One bunny. <laughs> Did she, she didn't mind that? She hated it. But uh, she said, she's like, I need it to feed you. So. <laughs> but I wow. still make her feel really bad about it. But to this day, I still call her like Maria Dreyfer. I'm like, I'm like, are you ready? Are you ready what happens? Like after you die, like you're going to be judged by like 15 million bunnies. Like, are you ready for that? How many lives you've taken? And she's like, shut up. She's like, I need it to feed you. So how did you feel when you found out you were coming to America? Like, uh, happy? Nice. Yes. Because, I mean, I really didn't know any, like, words in English when I came here. I, I knew, I, I knew dog and ice cream. <laughs> I knew those men. That's about it. I remember when I came here, we never had peanut butter before. So we got here, we ate like peanut butter like all the time. I think my mom gained like 10 pounds in like two weeks or something. <laughs> That's what and I gained like is. five pounds in two weeks or something because I just ate like nonstop peanut butter. I loved um, Eggo waffles and peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Delicious. I remember that, but yeah, it was weird coming here. I mean, you leave all your family, all your friends behind, so it's kind of weird.